everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. So this week when I visited my mailbox, I was surprised and delighted to find um, Happy Mail in my mailbox on two separate days. Um, the first Happy Mail that I got was this one, and um, it, it came, I think it was on Tuesday or Wednesday, and then I checked my mailbox this morning, and um, this one came today. And so I'm really happy and excited to be able to share it with you. Um, I love Happy Mail. It just make, gets me so excited. But um, anyway, this one I knew was coming um, sometime this week. It is from a, a friend that I met on Instagram, and she wanted me to uh, mention her channel and I'm also going to put it in my description below. But anyway, she's at, um, at Creation So Real. And so, um, like I said, I met her on Instagram. And she's got some really cute babies. And um, it looks like that she also does homemade uh, crocheting and perhaps knitting. I'm, I'm not real sure. But anyway, her package came in first. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, open that one first. So I'm excited to see what she says. She, in her um, message to me on Instagram, she said that she noticed that I liked homemade things and that she wanted to send me something. So thank you so much for that. So let me see what she has got in here. Pretty blue paper. Favorite color is blue, of course. Oh my goodness. See, I, I've seen her toys that she makes on Instagram, <laughs> and um, my gosh, this is so cute. Um, it's a little elephant. I'm sitting here amazed at it. It's a little elephant, so I'll have a little elephant to do on my theme Thursdays whenever I need to find an elephant, <laughs> and um, the, the color of uh, this elephant is like a cobalt blue um, with black eyes, and my goodness, it looks like it looks like it's crocheted, um, but I'm not real sure. So if you could, um, Janet, if you could let me know, her name is Janet. If if you could let me know um, if this is crocheted or knitted or how this is done, this is amazing. Um, it's super soft, uh, plush yarn, uh, like sh um, what do you call it? Chenille, like that uh, chenille type of. Um, yarn but oh he's, he's so cute i love him thank you janet so much um again she she does have um, a channel on instagram and it's at creation so real and i'll put that in the description so thank you janet for um sending this adorable little elephant i love it got these big big elephant ears this is cute little look at this cute little trunk it's got a cute little tail in the back oh my goodness well, th this is going to be one of the the um, little dolls that I leave on my uh, changing table. I think he's adorable. So thank you so, so much, Janet. I appreciate it so much that you sent me such a cute little um, toy. So this next one um, is from Holly Church. And although I wasn't expecting this today... Um, she had told me at one time that um, that she wanted to twin her Johanna with my Maggie May, and so um, I'm thinking that this is what this might be. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I, I brought Maggie May in with me today because I was just guessing, and if it doesn't turn out to be um, what I'm guessing, you know that's all right too. Yeah, that's all right too, isn't it, Maggie May? So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera up. So Maggie May's a tall little toddler. Yes, she is. She's still dressed in her theme Thursday purple. Yep, she is. She's such a darling. Um, so let me find my scissors. And like I said, this is from Holly Church. So Holly, let me see what you did. And let's see if I guessed, if I guessed correctly. I'm trying to keep the, I'm keeping the addresses on the other side so that we, uh, our addresses don't show. Just go ahead and snip it open. Uh, let me take the packages out. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, she Okay, she sent me a little card. And look at these pretty packages. Wow. Don't, that's really, really pretty. Okay, so what did you do, Holly? Um, let me see. Where is my handy-dandy letter opener? I bought a letter opener especially to have in here, and now I can't find it. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just, I want to carefully open this because it looks like a really nice... Um, it's one of those really nice um, textured thick envelopes, and I don't want to wreck it. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's gorgeous. Wow. Wow, that, that reminds me of the, the type of birds that we get on our farm. We have such pretty birds. That's so pretty. Thank you, Holly. Okay, oh, oh look at this. Oh, wow, that is, that is a special card. It's a 3D, look it. So when you open it up, the birds pop. That is gorgeous. I love that. Anyway, she says, hi, Gail, just something for Maggie Mae so she and Johanna can do a couple of tweeting days. Love, Holly. So I guess right. Yay. <laughs> um, so let me see what we're going to be doing for our tweeting days. So let's open the top one first. Love this paper, Holly. Love, love, love. Go ahead and snip it. We'll snip it. Let's see. What do we have in here? Something with pretty flowers on it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, this looks like it's, uh, homemade embroidery, you know, hand done embroidery. I remember doing, uh, embroidery like that before. That is so pretty. Oh, it's by Will Beth. No wonder. Will Beth makes the most, uh, adorable, uh, outfits. So, um, let me go ahead and show you the entire outfit. It looks like it's, uh, got little... Um, oh, the bloomers are adorable. Let me show you this one first. So it's sleeveless. It's got that uh, really cute embroidery on the front there of a little bird sitting on top of a birdhouse. So springy. And then here's the back, and it's got some nice buttons all the way down. That's going to be really easy to dress our girls, isn't it, Holly? Um, at this size, they're kind of uh, challenging to dress. But when I saw these bloomers, I go, wow, look how cute this is. Um, look at the sides. So there's this little gap in the side, right? And it ties. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. That is so girly. Oh, I love that, Holly. Thank you so, so much. Wow. And look at the pretty colors. Um, it's like a, uh, sort of like a hot pink with a light pink flower. It's got, um, Real pretty blue flowers and little tiny yellow flowers. It's so springy. Love, 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 Holly. And I forgot to mention that there's ruffles on the bottom of the um, of the blouse. And there's also ruffles along the side. I love that. That is totally something that I would have chosen. That is so pretty. Thank you so much. So there's um, one twinning outfit. Gosh, two, huh, Holly? Two twinning outfits. Yay, we get to twin our girls twice. Now, Johanna is a beautiful blonde um, uh, Mila sculpt that, um, that Holly adopted uh, not too long ago. And so, um, yeah, it's going to be fun twinning these two. Let's see what we have in this one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Now, <laughs> this blows me away. I am blown away. Um, this is another Will Beth. Wow. So, it's got, um, my gosh, Holly, this is gorgeous. If I thought the other dress, the other outfit blew me away. <laughs> um, so, that's a little cupcake. And it's embroidered as well. You know, these look hand embroidered. I'm telling you right now, they do not look like a machine uh, did these. Uh, they really do look hand embroidered. Uh, I can tell because I used to, um, I used to embroider. 
That is lovely. Oh my gosh, that is drop dead gorgeous. Look at that. So it's got a, um, as you can see, it's got a, um, oh, a ha what, a half moon? I don't know that you would call this a Peter Pan collar because it's not, you know, separated in the front, but it's kind of like a little half moon collar in the front and it goes all the way around to the back. Isn't that just adorable? It's got three buttons. And look at the, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to just lift it up and show you. Um, it's got balloons embroidered on it. Um, there's a heart balloon in the middle and a blue one and a yellow one. And then um, look at look at that, uh, that um, the detail. I mean, it's got little, it's got little like pearls in the middle of the flowers. Um, it, that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And then look at the hem. Yeah, that is so pretty. It's got like a shiny um, medium pink um, flower, um, not flower, but embroider along the bottom. Now it's got the balloons on either side. And then it also, I can feel that it has a little skirt and a little slip inside as well to make it nice and full. Wow, Holly, where in the world did you find something like this? Wow. You've blown me away. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, you know, Maggie Mae is going to look adorable. I mean, look at that. You can tell already that she's going to look just so sweet in that. Love, 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 love that. Wow, what a cute outfit. Gorgeous. I, oh, it came with bloomers. <laughs> Hello. I was, I was just so blown away by the dress that uh, I, I'm really happy that it came with bloomers. I love uh, to always put bloomers under the dresses. And, you know, sometimes they, do, they just don't come with them. But um, that's really nice. The fabric is kind of like a linen, a uh, really nice linen fabric. So, um, oh, and it's got ruffles along the bottom and it's um, sewn really nicely. You know, Will Beth makes such nice clothing. You know, you can tell that they really take their time doing it. I mean, I recognize the stitches that they're doing. So um, anyway, Holly, thank you so, so much. Um, this is, this is Drop Dead Gorgeous. This is Drop Dead Gorgeous. Um, thank you so, so much. I love, love, love both of them. Whew. So now we have the two Happy Mails. We have the Happy Mail from Holly. And then we have the cute little um, chenille uh, elephant from Janet at Creation So Real. And um, so thank you so much, ladies. I really, really appreciate um, you taking the time to send me such adorable uh, things. So I wanted to talk about um, a couple of things and, um, you know, uh, that has to do with my farm. And um, also I wanted to tell you about the, uh, the dress saga that is, uh, that is now over. But uh, I wanted to bring a baby in and change your baby while I was talking to you. And so I'll, I'm going to go ahead and put Maggie uh, May um, back in her rocking chair and... Um, I'm going to hang these gar gorgeous things up. I'm going to keep the little elephant on the changing table. And I will be right back with, with another baby. So I wanted to change uh, Annabella. She's one of my newest um, from Emma Bennett. And I wanted to change her uh, at the same time tell you the um, a couple of stories. And so, um, but the first story that I want to talk about is I never did, uh, according to the um, the comments that I received on my video yesterday, which by the way, I haven't had a chance to answer yet, but I did read them. And um, most, uh, most people that uh, watched the video were wondering what happened to the dress issue. You know, the dress that I was supposed to um, go over to my neighbor's house and alter. Well, I'll tell you what happened with that. And I'm sorry that I didn't explain myself more clearly because um ye yesterday was just um kind of a disjointed day for me i was trying to um i was trying to hurry up so that i could help my husband and um you know do his uh, outdoor um project his patio project so 
I was a little disjointed yesterday, so let me see if I can finish up the story of the dress. So what ended up happening was um, the day that I went over, uh, I think it was on Tuesday, I think. Um, this week has been such a crazy week for me. But anyway, the day that I went over to my neighbor's house, um, you know, I... You know, I saw the, the dress, the, uh, my neighbor's daughter tried it on, and then I pinned it up and everything, and then I brought it home. Um, but I was very, when I, when I was at their house, I was very, I was really very hesitant about doing the dress because I saw that it was um, a lined dress, and it had beading and, and like, um, you know, shiny little decorations all over it, and that is so way beyond my expertise. Um, I'm a person that I can sew from scratch really well. I can I can sew anything uh, from a pattern, but um, I have I, I just don't know how to alter. And I had told my neighbor that um, on the phone when she first called me about it, um, but um, she was insistent about me doing it for her. And so, um, but she wasn't you know being mean or anything she was just she had like way more confidence in me than I had in me <laughs> let's just put it that way so um anyway so I went over the daughter tried the dress on I pinned it up and then um I brought it home and uh, after I brought it home and I and I took a really close look at it um I discovered that the lining was it was attached to the inside of the dress all the way around, like starting from the hem all the way around. And so I, um, I, I thought I, tr I probably worked on it for at least an hour. Uh, I was trying to figure out how I could do it, you know, without having to remove the lining completely. Well, I couldn't, I, I couldn't figure it out. And so, um, I knew that the lining had to be you know, the seams had to be ripped out and the lining had to be removed before the seams on the side of the dress could be taken in. I just knew that, you know, just from it, my experience in sewing. So anyway, um, after, like I said, after about an hour, I just, I thought, you know what, I am not going to ruin this dress. Um, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and give my neighbor a call, which I just don't like to do. I don't like to to call and say, hey, I'm not going to be able to do it for you, at, you know, um, after all. I, I just, oh my goodness, that is the hardest thing for me to do. But, um, so like I said, I bit the bullet and I called her and I told her that, um, you know, that honestly I, I, I felt that it was a project that needed to be done by a professional and that I didn't have the experience to do it. Um, you know, and I explained again that I've never done altering before. So, um, anyway, uh, you know, I, I convinced her and, you know, she said, oh, okay, well, um, you know, and I told her that I would bring, I would bring her the dress back that afternoon. I mean, like right after I got off the phone. Um, so, but anyway, so, uh, we brought the, we took the dress back to her and then, um, but I forgot to, she had given me some thread to use, you know, with the, uh, that matched the dress and I had forgotten to take the thread back. So then the next day, which was yesterday morning, I then had to, um, to take the thread back and, um, I was hoping she would be there, but she wasn't, she must've been, um, off on an errand or something. So anyway, um, I left, I left it uh, hanging in a Ziploc bag inside of a grocery bag on her door so that she would make sure to get the thread to give to someone else um, that would be working on it. So that was this, the end of the, the story of the dress. Um, I wasn't able to do it because I just did not have the experience. And then um, it was just a really nerve-wracking, <laughs> very nerve-wracking experience for me. So... Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm really glad that it's over. I'm relieved that, uh, that I don't have the responsibility of doing, you know, altering someone's dress that's meant for a wedding. <laughs> My goodness sakes. Anyways, I wanted to make sure that I, um, that I finished that story for you. And in doing so, I didn't show you the outfit that I was putting on little Annabella. And I do have Tommy. Tommy is, 
um, Annabella's brother, and he is the Tommy Sculpt, also by Sandy Faber. They're both by Sandy Faber, and she is the Jewels by Sandy Faber. And Emma Bennett did both of them for me. She re she reborn both of them. And uh, she made this outfit especially for this little one, too. And I, since I hadn't um, put it on her before, I thought I would give it, give it a shot. So this is the outfit, and it's in this really pretty mint green. And um, the shoes that I chose for the outfit are these uh, mint green shoes that have little tiny flowers all over them with a little bow in the front. And then the socks are also mint green. Well, you know, they have uh, mint green designs on them, a little bow and a little ruffle. And then uh, she does have pierced ears, so her earrings are going to be these uh, mint green little flower earrings that have the little uh, rhinestones in the middle, and then there is her bow, mint green bow. So um, she did make this hat to go along with the outfit. It's a gorgeous hat. Um, it has pearls on it and a bow and everything, but... Um, because of the fact that, that this one has such uh, gorgeous curly hair, I don't want to put the hat on her. So that hat will uh, that hat will go on some on one of my other baby dolls that um, I don't have to worry about ruining the curl. So uh, anyway, so that's the um, that's the outfit description. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'll tell you what I've been so disjointed lately, but. Um, Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about a couple more things that are happening on the farm. Um, first of all, I'm going to be putting um, my uh, garden video in with this one, the one where we first did the garden. And we, my husband was on the rototiller and he was doing his thing with the rototiller. So you'll see that in this video. Um, we still have our little bunny, our little baby bunny that I showed you before that I held in my hand. And... Um, he has been visiting us every night. Um, he he likes to hang around um, my husband's, where my husband's, um, uh, he calls it his man cave is. Um, it's by our fire pit. So the baby bunny hangs out by the fire pit, uh, but not by the fire pit. I mean, he's got, um, he hops around, uh, around that area, you know, and uh, which is super cute. Like last night, he got so close. He got, uh, he, he actually hopped um, where my husband was sitting and he had kind of his legs stretched out, you know. He hopped underneath my husband's legs. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's not that he's tame. He isn't tame. He, he's just not afraid. He's just a baby and he hasn't really learned, you know, to be afraid of humans yet. So that's really, that's really cool. So let me see. Since I'm doing her her little head right now. I'm going to go ahead and put her her bow on and then um, last but not least I'll put her shoes and socks on. But I just love her hair. It is such, it has such a nice curl to it. Um, really, really nice. So the other thing I wanted to tell you about was um, the the finch eggs that I, that I showed you. Actually, I uh, did some further research and found out that they are not finch eggs. They are actually robin's eggs. And uh, they look exactly like Rob the robin's eggs photos that I saw online. Um, finch eggs are blue as well, but finch eggs are like a more uh, lighter blue than a robin's egg. So, And they also said about robins, will what they'll do is they'll lay their eggs in very unusual places. And um, this... Mama Robin has chosen the inside of the motorhome compartment <laughs> to, to lay her eggs. Um, and th that is a super safe place for them. Uh, you know, uh, there's no predators or any weather or anything that can um, t get to, to her eggs. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to, basically the, the, the things that I wanted to talk to you about today, just kind of to finish up my stories from before and I also wanted to bring this gorgeous little girl on. Let's go ahead and put her shoes on. I'm trying to make sure that she stays um, in focus right here in the camera. So yeah, it's been a super busy week. Um, it's always nice to be able to come into my dolly room and just, you know, dress my babies and tell you stories and stuff that's been going on around here. 
So anyway, yeah, that's the um, the saga of the dress is over. Thank goodness. I was just I just did not have good feelings about doing that project. I just really didn't. And um, as it turned out, that was not a very good day. <laughs> um, so anyway put this shoe on but I am very very um, I really love the happy mail that my friends sent me uh, Janet and Holly so thank you ladies it really brightened up my my week to see happy mail in my mailbox because it's not been the greatest week in the world for me <laughs> so anyway we have this little girl dressed and let me pick her up so you can see it's actually it's like a one-piece um, knitted outfit with a little bib and um, she's got little uh, crocheted ruffles around the legs there. She really looks cute in it. And I chose this mint green because um, I just thought it would be a real pretty color to go along with um, the white, which it, which it really does go really well. It's The mint green um, shirt has white in it as well. As you can see, it's like a striped um, mint green and white. And it's got these pretty flowers along the top as well. So there she is, all in all of her cuteness. I love this outfit on her. And um, I love this little girl. She has the, the cutest smile, you know, just like her brother Tommy. And Tommy is right here. I'll bring him a little bit closer. And he's holding the elephant. Uh, his hat keeps falling off, so we'll just leave his hat off. And he's got the elephant that Janet from, um, uh, let's see, what is her... Well, I'll put her description down in the um, in my in my um, my description. I'll tell you the name of her channel. But anyway, he's holding the the elephant, which is really cute and plushy and soft. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, thanks for stopping by and. <laughs>
just finished planting and um, it's supposed to rain today so that's good but I've watered everything with my little watering can and what you see here are my sweet peppers they're they're called the giant Marscani peppers and I have six of those two four six and then we have my husband's really super hot habanero peppers and we've got um, four plants of those and then in here we have the green beans and the green beans are planted on either side of the fencing and that's cattle fence my husband made um, his own uh, what do you call pole bean fences <laughs> out of cattle fence and so you'll see where I watered and there's where the beans have been planted there they are <laughs> their seeds and then last but not least we have the sweet cherry tomatoes and I have six plants of cherry tomatoes and so I'm going to be all set for my homemade spaghetti sauce as soon as they grow up and produce their tomatoes. And so, um, anyway, the garden is done. Uh, all we have to do now is wait for the rain to come and to give these uh, little, uh, tiny little baby plants a chance to grow. And there you have it. And uh, my husband had to put the fence, fencing back up and he had to reinstall the gate. And we have barbed wire on top because to keep the raccoons out and the deer and whatever other critters decide that they want to come in. So there you go, everyone. Hope you enjoyed my, uh, my gardening video. Mm -hmm.